welcome back to the channel. We're Billy and Leanne and we're currently taking you along with us on Scotland's North Coast 500. Last week we left you lost on a mountain trail as we experienced our first dose of Scottish snow. This week we head further along the coast towards Ullapool, get a little more snow than we bargained for and meet an unexpected guest. We definitely experienced some highs and lows in this episode. Come along with us and enjoy Scotland's beautiful west coast. Don't forget to subscribe as we post new vlogs every Monday. I can't believe how quick that snow just come in. That was crazy. It wasn't even bad when we left. Yeah, it's just a little dusting, supposedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Scottish dusting. I think if we would have gone further up, we definitely would have lost that trail. But look at it, it's amazing. It's unreal, what genius. Yeah, you really do need to be well prepared if you're gonna come out in the snow like this, didn't you? Did we take this part off on the way here? Huh? Is this the one we took? Yeah. Let's get back. I did really want to see the Bones Cave though because it's called the Bones Cave because it's found remains of lynx cat, polar bear and reindeer apparently. So their guess is that that's where the hunter gatherers stayed and kept their food obviously and lived, which is quite interesting. So it would have been cool to see. We'll try again when it's a bit more sunny. <laughs> we made it back. <laughs> well, that was absolutely crazy. I can't believe how quick that snow come in. I think the title should be Stupid Essex Belt Experience Scottish Dusting. <laughs> yeah. Our idea of Scottish dusting was a dusting, <laughs> not a full on blizzard. <laughs> I think back to the van for a nice cup of tea. Home sweet home. Bez is looking good in the snow. So we didn't get to enjoy our coffee up the mountain, so we're gonna enjoy it in the front of the van instead. That's, we're acting like we had a near death experience. <laughs> it just got a bit snowy. <laughs> it did just get a bit snowy. Sip each. Oh, sip each. <laughs> Oh, you want it now? It's cheese, tomato, and salad cream. Try it because it's absolutely banging. You will not regret having half of that. Right. After we finally got back to a one big bed, we decided it would be a good idea to head to Ullapool and stock up on supplies. <laughs> Just come to Ullapool. We've been to Tesco, got our supplies. Now we're gonna have a quick wander around Ullapool. Hopefully get some fish and chips if it won't be. Oh, it's been recommended fish and chips here, it's meant to be banging. <laughs> <laughs> that little snow one. What? Uh, little bash. There's not much snow around here. I think we got stuck in the worst of it. Go around and see what Ullapool's about. <laughs> Fish and chips in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is romantic. Oh. Whoa. That's a cod. A cod haddock. Leanne's got haddock. I'm not a fish person. You are now. This is quite nice sitting in the snow, you know, fish and chips. <laughs> Ullapool was lovely, although a lot of places were closed due to us coming out of season, so we decided to head further west to find a nice cosy car park to hunker down for the evening.
Look how much snow we've got, Leanne. I'm so excited, I love the snow. So we've just woken up and we have got loads of snow. The snow all day now until Friday, Saturday, and it's only Tuesday. So we've probably got a lot more snow on the way. What do you do today then? Yeah, we can't do the mountain climb. Can't do the mountain climb. Yeah, but we well, I think what we should do is go for the woodland trail. Yeah. We'll go for the woodland walk, because that'd be fine. It even says in the little booklet that you can get at the information centre, you can go in any weathers with the snow on your feet or the sun on your back. So there's two trails you can do from this car park, a woodland trail and a mountain trail. And it's the first waymarked mountain trail in the UK, or the only, I think. So basically it's waymarked all the way around and you've got this little, these little booklets that you can get from the information centre and they tell you all about it. I'm so tired. Leanne's not had a great sleep for the last two nights. You are allowed to lay in. But I woke up at six o'clock and I thought there's snow outside. Banging and crashing and lights on and off. Oh. You can tell he's a morning person, can't you? I'm going to make Leanna coffee, wait for her to fully wake up, which might take days, months. <laughs> have a little lay in and then we're going to go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and then we're going to go and do the woodland trail in the snow. Look at this though, Woo! that's the top, not long Leanne, <laughs> but don't worry, we've not lost the trail today. <laughs> I don't know, don't speak too soon. Not long, nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, <laughs> quick. <laughs> Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> We've both just completely flopped. <laughs> 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 Alright, do you want to go back down the way we come? Because that looks pretty snowy up there. Maybe that is getting onto the mountain. I said, yeah, it also says tree. Yeah, look. Do you want to go that way then, or? What, this way? Yeah. Yeah. It's not hilly, is it? No, that's a woodland track. <laughs> that's obviously back the reverse loop around, them, like the other way around them. <laughs> oh, I told you. So, we finished our walk. We nearly got up to the mountain. We took the wrong trail. <laughs> <laughs> We come back down. It's a nice walk, actually. Are oh, we going to enjoy the hot chocolate here? And look at this. So we're back in the van, trying to go to the car park, but it is so so slippery and icy, and all the little roads are obviously covered in snow. And it's a single track lane down there, so I'm not sure that that's a good idea. But there is a shop near the car park we were just in, so our thoughts are stick in the car park, grab some supplies, and stick the snow out, wait until it's gone. 
Or do I just try and turn around? We found a little petrol garage to fill up big beds. The owner was friendly enough to give us a spot where we could fill up on our fresh water for a donation. Then we set off to hopefully meet someone who we've heard so much about and have wanted to see for a long time. Shut up! Oh, he's like, right there! Wait, Can't see him? No! Oh my god! He's actually there! So we're just gonna cook up a bit of dinner and don't think there's any more snow coming tonight. So hopefully tomorrow we can get out and hopefully my battery starts because it's meant to drop down to like minus 15 tonight. Yeah, it's a bit scary. We've run beds for a little bit. Um, so we'll probably do that one more time before we go to bed, won't we? Just to make sure. Chili con carne for dinner. It's so nice being in the snow, isn't it? It's oh, it's so good being in the snow. It's a completely different vibe to like literally yesterday when we had yeah. the snow. It just changes the scenery again. I feel like the scenery here just changes all the time. So what we're just trying to decide whether we want to head further on or stay here in like, yeah. Down yeah. yeah, well, we need to go to Apple Cross. So. I don't think we'll be doing that though, do you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think that's a death wish. <laughs> right, I'm hungry, let's get dinner on. Join us next week to see if Big Bears can survive a night at minus 15. If you enjoyed, please give us a like and subscribe. We post new vlogs every Monday.